Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be teaching a zoom burst blur effect, which is this effect right here. Now, if we're going to jump into things, uh, let's jump over to the image we're going to be working on. Now, this image right here I got from a free picture site, um, which the link is going to be in the description below. You can actually download this image from my source files if you want to uh, play along with uh, this tutorial right here. Then. The first thing we're actually going to do is duplicate this image once you have it into Photoshop. So Control and J. And then we're going to go to Filter. We're going to go to Blur and then we're going to go to uh, Radial Blur. If we can find that one. Now the things that you need to set it on is Blur Method is going to be Zoom and the quality is going to be good. Now you can put the quality to best but it's going to use a lot more processing time I'm just going to say it's good as we're just going to you know quickly do this now the most hardest thing in this tutorial is this bit right here you have to so the blur center is going to be blurred obviously in the middle but you want to change it being if your object or person um, is not in the middle of like this one here he's not in the middle he's off to the left hand side a little bit so you want to hold down and drag to wherever your object is now this may take a few times as you can't see where it's exactly going so you just have to work it out now if you do get it wrong you can press Control alt and z to restore it back and then just go through filter blur radial blur again just to redo it now the amount um, I'm going to put to 48 because it suits this picture I think it does and for your images it might be different so you're going to have to play around with the amount as well so it's really up to you what you think is best for your type of image so once you have it all in position and everything and the amount's ok I'm going to click ok let it render it can take a little while depending on how fast your computer is and what you're actually doing so it's ok does want to go to the right a little bit on this image but um, I'm just going to leave it the way it is at the moment now it's blurred a little bit too much so we're going to go and select the eraser tool I'm going to bring up the brush size you want to put the opacity to 50% and then we're just going to paint what we actually don't want blurred so just there don't want to do too much So just his hands and arms just there and his face, want that to come back. And the other arm, so we just do that one. Now I'm not going to spend too much time, um, you're going to obviously have a lot more time than me doing this so you're going to be, it's going to be a lot more perfect for your one than my one. Now the next thing we're actually going to do is we're going to put a 50% grayscale overlay. So we're going to make a new blank layer, you can do this by going to the bottom left, right hand side sorry, and clicking the new layer icon. Then what we're going to go and do is we're going to go to edit, fill. Uh, the contents is going to be 50% grayscale and we're going to hit OK and we're going to go to filter we're going to go to artistic and then we're going to go to film grain now the grain is going to be set to 2 highlight area is going to be set to 0 and the intensity is going to be set to 1 now depending on your image um, you want to play around with the intensity because you want them you might want a bit more grain in your image than mine so I'm just going to leave that the way it is at the moment so that should be okay for this picture and then we're going to hit uh, on the layers bit drop down menu hit overlay now if I just click this on and off you're not going to see much of a change now if I zoom in on the actual image and click off and on now there's grain right there which is what we want now you, you'll probably see it once you've saved the whole image and stuff like that now once we have done all of that and you've got it the way you want it now if your object is not in the center of the image like this one you want to crop it now I'm not going to crop mine because I think I like it just the way it is but if you want to crop it it can look a lot better 
so you really have to play around with it so you can go to the crop tool on the left hand side you want to hold down the shift which makes um, so it keeps the actual image in proportion to what it originally was so you can hold down shift and then just drag out so to put the object or the person in the center of the image now I'm not going to do that as I said so I'm just going to move on to the next bit what we're going to be doing is making a vignette so we're going to go over to the mar elliptical marquee tool sorry if you can't find it it's normally hidden under the rectangle marquee tool on the left hand side you just need to hold it down and select it now we're going to go and drag out from the top left hand side to the bottom right hand side so there you want to make sure that you've got um, the second layer selected and then we're going to go to filter sorry not filter what am I doing I'm going to refine edge sorry that's what we wanted and we're going to put the feather to 130 130 then click OK and then from there we're going to go to select inverse so it puts a line all the way around the edge then we're going to put an adjustment layer if you don't know where the adjustment layers are it's this little black and white circle click that and we're going to go to levels now you'll see these three little levels right here now we're going to click the middle one and we're going to drag that to the right now depending on your image um, you want to play around with this you can have it really dark or just a little bit we're just going to have a little bit for this one so if you are following around with this image right here it's going to be set to zero next one is going to be to 0 0.45 next one is going to be 255 and then once you've done that uh, that's basically it finished you have your um, zoom uh, burst blur effect so that's pretty much it but I will tell you one thing that this effect is quite limited as it does not work on non-moving objects so you can't put it on something that isn't moving or, or going anywhere so it works quite well with sport um, obviously like you see as I flick over to the other ones so this one here she's not moving um, but you can make an effect so if someone is screaming you can create like an, a vibration effect now this effect isn't working on this photo pretty much here because I need to up um, the ante as they say I need to up the effect so it's a lot more so it stands out a lot more which you can do you just need to basically double um, the effects into this one the next one is someone jogging now this one is okay but you really need to look at the background it doesn't look all that it's quite blurred it's not you know transitional not what we want in so you have to work with your images you have to find out which one goes with which for this um, effect so that's pretty much it for today um, please play around with the uh, pictures and the effect and try and create something new and I'll see you next time guys bye for now